First part of the morning. here from Swole Pro. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys on just how to rig your bait or your dropper loop to your drone correctly. This can be used on any drone. This is the, red, the correct and the best way to rig it to your drone. It's a common, one of the most reasons drone fall is because lines end up in propellers because of um, a windy day or a, or a reel jam on the reel and this is just really going to make it much better and you'll see it will also keep your drone very stable. So we picked a good day, it's very windy today. It's got, there's a mic on the, on the camera, so you won't notice the wind so much, but it's very windy. So this is exactly the type of day that your bait needs to be as stable as possible below the drone for battery usage and for safety of your drone. All right, so let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of 0 0.70 or 1 mil, whatever you want to use with a swell pro we prefer to go uh, something in between not too thin not too thick so i've got a piece of 0 0.80 here it's two meters in length it's just a little piece of mono it's two meters in length one two meters it can be longer can be a little bit shorter but we rec recommend a minimum of 1.5 meters so that's the first thing you need secondly what we're going to do is we're going to make a little loop knot like that very easy to make i'm going to show you quickly on the other end of it you're going to take your line you're going to fold it double then you're going to just run your finger down both ends like that you're going to fold it over and you're going to wrap it just twice around the middle and you're going to pull it tight then just a little tip make sure you cut that tag end off but there's your loop knot so this is where you're going to connect your drone to so the most important thing now is the distance between your bait and where your attachment is onto your drone. So mine, my attachment comes on right at the tip of where the leader meets the monofilament, which is usually about 7 to 11 meters depending on where I am fishing. So I like to use it between 10 or let's say 8 and 12 meters. That's a nice safe distance between the bait and the drone. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, seven meters guys so here's seven meters you can see the bimini twist is now connecting the monofilament to the leader okay so this is the most important part of the video the knot that i'm going to be using to tie that 7-0 or 8 -0 piece of monofilament we took off earlier is a figure eight onto the leader but you got to tie it well so that the knot doesn't slip when it's lifting the bait let's look at it quickly you're going to run the 0 0.70 or 0.80 parallel to your leader then you're going to take it you're going to make it a uh, nice comfortable length mine's about six centimeters and you're going to wrap it three times over your leader and your finger like so three times then you're going to roll it off your finger and you're going to push the tag in through the back then this is the this is the important part do not pull it tight from this point fold the knot open so you see your figure of eight there you go guys, can you see that figure right? Very nicely. Now you pull it tight, wet it a bit. Now you can either take pliers or use your hand. I use my teeth. There we go. That is now secure to your leader. It's not gonna do any damage to your line whatsoever. And it's gonna keep your drone away from the props. You'll see, you'll see now in the video, it's very windy now all of a sudden. Ron's is busy doing test flights there. You'll see now exactly what I mean, how it keeps the line away from the props. Okay, so the next important step is with any drone. Do not take off, hover, and then connect. If he drops the remote and the, the joystick hits the ground and it forces the drone off, that, those are carbon fiber props. They are really dangerous. They are super sharp under the high speed that they are operating in. So they'll cut you to pieces. So what you do is, you pick up your unstarted drone, have your person that's flying with you, your drone buddy, you'll open the connector, we'll take that loop we made, 
and we'll close it. Got a, the wind coming from a southerly, southwesterly direction. What we like to do is we put the drone's nose, uh, yeah, the front of the drone, into the direction of the wind. So we're going to put it that way. Now here's our line that we attach to our leader. We put it behind the drone, cover the, the, the leader with a bit of sand. So this is just to prevent that on takeoff, the, you know, the turbulence of the motors create, so they don't lift the leader and they line into the, uh, the line into the into the motors or into the props. So once that is done, what we then do is we put the weight downwind with the drone. So this is if your drone does happen to come back with the wind a little bit, your bait's not going to be in the opposite direction, forcing the drone to tilt in a funny way. Put it behind the drone, downwind. So we're going to fly the bait out now. Duvan's showing you the full rig and how we prepared and get ready to drop the bait. We're now going to fly it. What you need to keep in mind is these drones are extremely dangerous. So first rule of thumb, no one within 50 meters of you when you're flying the drone except those who are actually doing the flying and dropping of the bait. That's um, actually a rule. It's a legal rule. Legal rule. Also, drone fishing is a two-man sport. One flies, one holds the rod. If you do this alone you need to be extremely experienced and know how to set your drag accordingly but it's more dangerous and more room for error so if you're going to be doing this it's a two-man job one on the drone one on the rod all right when you're about to fly the drone we kind of do it in a triangle formation so you have the drone in the front you have your bait behind on the one side and you as the angler and the drone pilot stand on the other side so you create a pyramid in a way also, if the drone is to come up with a strong wind and come slightly backwards, you'll never be in harm's way because you're out the way. The drone's only going to come backwards. The drone will never move sideways in the wind. It'll move with the wind backwards. So just take that into account also when you are taking off. All right. So now this is exactly what I was speaking about. If you take a look at the drone, you'll see there's, there's, there's a long drop of line. And now if for some reason there's a real jam, that line's got to go all the way up, which it literally won't be able to do. So the line won't be able to go into the prop. Whereas if you were hooking the bait right underneath the drone, if something were to happen, your line, everything is right next to the prop. So that two meters acts as a big buffer. It's almost like a, like a, a tip of a rod absorbing pressure of a fish. That is us. That line is absorbing. If there's anything were to go wrong, a, re a real jam or a bird flying into the line or anything like that. Secondly, because it's that's a long drop the drone is not sensitive to movements now that line is absorbing all the movements so the battery life is going to be much better the flight time is going to be better and your your general stability of the drone will be better and this goes for any drone as you can see or hear the drone is in the air about eight meters above us what i want to point out is due to the fact we have such a long drop there is less correction that needs to be made by the drone as the bait is further away so it's got less effect on the drone look how stable this bait is and the wind is blowing this is a directly above Once my hand rate. i'm not touching the remote this is in about a 30 to 40 kilometer southwesterly wind game for elizabeth so that just shows you the longer the drop the more stable the drone the less you have on your bait once you've got the drone in the air the bait is stable you're ready to fly out stay in close proximity of the person with the rod so that you and him can be in close communication if at any stage something wants to go wrong on the rod side you and the person can speak to avoid having any sort of accident if he gets a real jam you're right next to him at least you can drop the bait or you can communicate if you're on that side and he's downwind of you you're not going to be able to communicate so stay close to one another on flying out